Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we take a look at a program called Super Anti Spyware. It's a freeware version that you can use and also they've got a pro version which you can pay for. It's been requested by a channel member who wants to make a video on this uh, Super Anti Spyware and how to remove viruses with it so we're going to see how useful this program is. Now I've been using this program for some years now and it's pretty decent as I said you can get it from this web address here and download the free version it's got a handy little portable scanner there as well and also the professional version which I would strongly advise you to get because it's pretty decent for $29.95 uh, it's got a lot more useful stuff to it okay so let's uh, have a look at the actual program now I've actually installed a load of viruses on there already um, or just a few and uh, we're going to give it a scan and see how it fares now this is the actual program here installed and uh, what we've got here is basically a pretty simple to use uh, user interface if we have a look at the manage quarantine area there's nothing in here because obviously I've only just installed it but you would have quarantines in here if you've been scanning you can clear them from there okay preferences let's have a little look at the preferences now some of these preferences you can use and some of them you can't depending on whether you've got the pro version or not so pretty much this is okay as it is and obviously you can actually uh, set it up as a quick scan or complete scan and so on and so on, and so on there and also scanning control this has got a few um, other bits and pieces as you can see ignore system volume uh, information folder Windows XP and ME just in case you didn't want those to be removed but most of the time you would have to remove these if they've got infections in them which they normally do so also um, you've got a few other bits and pieces there these this is pretty much the norm uh, default settings so let's have a look at real-time protection now if you want to enable real-time protection you are going to need the uh, professional version um, because obviously this is a free version and it doesn't allow you to do that okay so that is the downfall side of the free version that's why I would strongly suggest you buy the other version the pro version for $29 so let's uh, have a look at the hijack protection let's protect your um, browser for Google if you've got it set to Google or whatever your web page is and also to statistics and logs and also repairs as you can see here this is a few bits and pieces down here okay so let's have a look at the updates section also automatic check for updates and definitions every eight hours you can click on this uh, so we can do that now it's pretty much up to date because I've just done it so let's uh, let's uh, start the scan anyway get it started so it's saying the database is up to date so I'm going to do a quick scan first off and uh, this is where you've got perform quick scan and uh, perform a complete scan and a custom scan okay so we're going to be doing a quick one first just to rid the system of anything um, so we can actually get more control over the computer because obviously the more we get rid of the better it's going to be now I, once I've done the update what I generally do is uh, disable the actual internet so it's not connected to the internet because you're going to get redirects and all this sort of stuff going on as you can see here SVC host fake this is straight away loading up this stuff so if you want to disable your um, network card I'd advise you to do that once you've updated so we can do that here we can come straight into our network card once it's open it's running very slow because it's uh, got infections on it and then basically we can come into here and disable this if we wanted to like so okay so once that's done just don't forget to put it back on once you're finished and this will stop the internet from going in and out of your computer okay I'm just going to pause the screen here and let this finish Okay, that's the scan finished now. It's found 31, uh, 39 detected files, one in the memory, uh, 30 registry items detected, and 71 total threats. So let's uh, come up here and have a look. As you can see, backdoor bot there. Um, got a few nasty ones there, as you can see. IJAC DNS, uh, SVC host files. So what I'm going to do is just leave the ticks in these and go next and let them be removed 
it's a really good tool this it wants to actually reboot so I'm going to reboot the system I'll pause the screen here and uh, reboot the system so I'll see you back in a sec okay so that's rebooted now and as you can see what commonly happens is the firewall gets disabled um, and this is because obviously uh, malware wants to be able to access the internet so it can download more trojans and stuff like that off the internet so what we're going to do is have a little look at the firewall settings uh, let's go to control panel there and classic mode and have a little look at the firewall and as you can see it's been switched off so we're going to switch that back on okay so what I would generally do here is obviously that was just a quick scan and because it's found loads of stuff what I'm going to do is uh, just remove these okay so we're going to scan the computer and do a full scan this time a complete scan and let it run and see if it finds anything on the full scan okay that's the uh, full complete scan finished now and as you can see it's still found a couple of traces there of uh, malware and trojans in there so what we're going to do is remove these like so and obviously it wants to reboot again so I'll quickly reboot at this stage okay so that's that one complete now so we've used the uh, super anti spyware that's basically the program so what I'm going to do now is just going to scan quickly with uh, malware bytes just to see if there's any sort of traces left behind from super anti spyware because it's always best to use two different types of programs now we need to update this so what I want to do is go back to my um, device manager and update this I need to turn on the card because I disabled it so enable this now I'd have normally updated these before I did this anyway but just for this uh, I'll just quickly update there we go and once that's updated I'll just disable it again because I don't want nothing else coming down in the meantime So I'll quickly disable that again. Okay. So that's now what we need to do now is so I'm going to just quickly scan with this and find out whether there's anything been left. Now we've all seen malware bytes, we've done used this before. It's a really decent program. I'm going to do a quick scan and let that finish. And I'll see you back in a sec. It's found five already, as you can see. And that is the, the reason why we use two different types of programs. I mean you can use three or four just to make sure the system's clean. Um, because you don't want any infection left behind because if there is it's going to download more and you'll be back infected again so always use more than one okay so that's the scan finished a quick scan and let's have a look at what's been left behind so we can now show results and as you can see there's still a few bits and pieces that super anti spyware left behind so that's why it's very important to actually use two different types of programs or even more if that's the case so what we'll do now is um, we get rid of these you can see these ones here so we're just gonna get rid of these here click remove you can save that if you want to we're not gonna bother and uh, we need to restart here so I'll see you back in a sec okay so that's done so what I'm gonna do now is just do a quick full scan with malware bytes I did do a quick scan but when I find stuff I always do a full one so we're just gonna do a quick full scan of C drive and let that finish and while that's doing that what I would do is go to properties system restore turn off the system restore as well just clear off anything there and also I would run C cleaner clean out any temporary internet files or anything like that okay and hopefully um, hopefully this is going to be all cleaned up after this We'll let that finish off. Just quickly put the ticks in here because I've not done them. And we'll see how we go. I'm going to do slack space, so I'll just take the tick out there. Okay, analyze that. Then then run cleaner.
and I'll see you back in a sec when this is finished I'll let this finish off, that's now complete ok so that's now complete and we'll let this finish off and see what happens ok that's the full scan finished now and as you can see we've got a clean bill of health so uh, I think that's about it for this video so thanks very much for watching you've been watching Brian from Brightech.co.uk remember if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button so thanks again guys thanks for your support bye for now